And with that, with the magic that is technology, <laughs> we're going to welcome our next speaker to the stage. Hello, Galit. How are you? Yay. I'm good. Welcome. I am so happy to have you here, Galit. Y'all, let's give Galit a huge, when warm welcome to the stage. Galit has been a member in the community for forever and three days, and she is absolutely phenomenal at what she does and how she does it. Um, Galit, I want to go ahead and welcome you to the stage, and I'm going to hand you the microphone. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Ailey. Take a break. Go get some iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm so excited. I've been a member of Haley's group almost, I think, since day one. If not, I've seen the group grow and I love the women that are in here. And I just love her. One of the favorite, my favorite things about online is that we've never met in person and we will, we will, we've decided, but we're just such great friends and we support each other in so many ways. So Haley asked me to come on and talk about something that I have been really good at and made really good money at the last seven years, which is speaking. And most of the women in this group are really women that have an area of expertise and are good at speaking about something. So it's really fun for me because if you look at the top 50 speakers in the U.S. from last year, only nine are women. And if you know me at all, you know that I am not one to be okay with that. So aside from being a, a professional speaker, an entrepreneur that owns four businesses, founder of, Co of Everyday Woman TV, I also teach people how to become paid speakers. Now, a lot of us speak. We speak and we don't get paid. But that's okay. That's not what I'm saying to stop doing because a lot of us, what we do is we'll share our area of expertise in Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok lives, Instagram lives, something like this where I'm talking for Haley's group and we're sharing our expertise, which is wonderful. So don't stop doing that. Okay. But where we're missing the buck in a sense is that there are opportunities out there for conferences, conventions, uh, corporations that you can get paid to speak about your expertise. Now, what I do is I like to call one promotional speaking and one paid speaking. This for me is promotional speaking. I get this wonderful opportunity to share five ways to book speaking gigs with you because I'm an expert at that. And I also just got back from Canada on Monday where I got paid to speak at a conference called Hey Girl Conference. They paid me $5,000, paid for my flights and my hotel, and I got to go be a keynote. That's something all of you can do. There is no reason why. So I'm going to share a few minutes of my journey to speaking, and then I'm going to share with you five ways you can book speaking gigs? Because the number one question I get over and over again is, how do I find speaking gigs that are paid? Now, you can use my methods to also book promotional speaking gigs. I do both and I love both. So just a little bit about my speaking journey. I've never had formal training. I've never been part of Toastmasters, by the way, not knocking any of this. I am a girl that did her dangdest growing up to stay out of the spotlight, to stay off the stage and not raise my hand in class. You wouldn't know that looking at me today. I turned 50 a few months ago. Woohoo! 50 and over club. Happiest I've ever been. And it took me time to get where I am today. I have been speaking professionally for seven years. My first professional speaking gig was seven years ago, last January. So just a few months ago was seven years. My first speaking gig was somebody in the community saying to me, will you come speak at a wine, woman and wealth event? There were 12 women at this event. And I spoke about five ways to break a pattern. I got asked, I figured out what to speak on. I did a PowerPoint and I spoke in front of 12 people. Since then, I've had the opportunity to do, gosh, I don't even know, all over Canada, all over the United States. 
and even virtually all over the world where I've gotten paid. I've had hospitals hire me, women's conferences hire me. I've had uh, corporations hire me. I've spoken to anywhere that you can think of, tech companies, pharmaceutical companies, transformation companies. I'm speaking at a public works event in April. I'm speaking in Rhode Island for the mail servers of the university and college system in, in July. I'm sharing this with you because I was terrified to use my voice because this is not the voice that I was born with. I actually spoke in a whisper from the age of seven to 13. And it was terrifying to speak up in class. And then through speech therapy and puberty, I got my voice back. So I have a nodule on one of my vocal cords. So when I speak, you get a little bit of a hoarse, raspy voice. Now, I'm going to jump in and talk to you about five ways that you can book speaking gigs. So take notes, because this is something I teach in my program called the speaker method. So the first thing that you want to do, and this might seem so simple, but it's the most important, is you've got to let people know you're a speaker. So everywhere you go on my social media, no matter what it is, it says professional speaker. Does yours? All of your bios, all of your social media profiles, they've got to say professional speaker. How are people going to know you're ready to get paid to speak or be a promotional speaker if you are not promoting that you are a professional speaker. Let's talk about your bio, okay? You've got to have a professional bio. Sometimes we're not good at writing for ourselves. This is the time for you to brag. I hire copywriters to do my professional bios. I want you to have one that's 150 words and I want you to have one that's a paragraph, well, let's say, a page, and then go crazy and have a full one. Mine's up to two pages. But I want you to have these ready to go when you start reaching out to people and apply to speak. I also want you to make posts. This is an example. I am a professional speaker on the topics of leadership, mindset, real estate. If you have an organization or company that can benefit from my experience, please reach out to me. You've got to let people know you're looking for speaking gigs. I don't do this very often. I might do it once a month. I might do it once a week. But I want to let people know because people are looking at your social media and they might have an event that's coming up not knowing because they didn't read your bio. They didn't read your branding. You want to make sure you make these posts sometimes to let people know what you do. So that's letting people know that you are a professional speaker. That's number one from five. Let's go. You've got to have a professional speaker package. I made this joke the other day. I've been an entrepreneur since I was 24 years old, actually 22. The last time I worked for somebody was when I was 21 years old at the mall at Express. It's a clothing store we have here if you're listening from other countries. At the end of the day, I made this joke that I have been interviewed more in the last seven years than I did in my entire life before that. This is a job, ladies. You are applying for a job. They are paying you. Now, it's a little different when it's promotional because they're not paying you. So there's a little bit more lax there. You could just send a topic. You could just send your bio. You might not even need a speaker's reel. But now I want you to start thinking of speaking as a business. It's a business for me when I'm getting $5,000 every time I speak. It's a business for me. So what do you do? Do you have a speaker's profile? So if you go to my website, it actually says hire Galit for a keynote. You click on a button, it takes you to my speaking, up, my speaking topics. You've got to have a speaker's profile. Okay. If you go to my LinkedIn, you see that people that have attended my speaking gigs and my speaking things have written me testimonials. So if somebody goes to my LinkedIn, sees I'm a professional speaker, goes down to my reviews, they're going to see about 20 different testimonials. You're going to see testimonials on my website. So you've got to put together what I call your speaker's package. So here we go. You want a something that shows you speaking on video. The other day I had an interview. Five people were on this Zoom call. 
their board members, five people. It was like crazy. I heard about these group interviews, but I'd never experienced one. I usually have one or two people on my calls. Five board members interviewed me, throwing out questions. Okay. This is after they already looked at my speakers reel. So they knew I was an energetic, engaging speaker. And they got on and said, we saw you're an energetic and engaging speaker. But what we want to know is, and they asked me a bunch of questions. A lot of people stop when it comes to the speakers reel because they don't have themselves speaking. I don't care if it's through Zoom. I don't care if it's in person. This is me speaking. I could use this in my speakers reel. So I want you to have you on video speaking. Please, 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 please use that in your resume. As you continue to grow, you build a speaker's reel, okay? You've got to have a press kit. You've got to have publicity. It's not a must to be on TV or to write a book, but it helps. So in my press kit, it shows I've been on TV. It shows the books that I've written. It shows the publications that I've been mentioned in. People Google you. That's the first thing they're going to do. Who is this Galit person? I've never heard of her. They'll Google you. What happens when you Google yourself? What are they seeing about you? I, I had this funny thing happen for one of my clients. I Googled him because I also work with men speakers and it showed his MySpace account without a shirt on. And I said to him, look, I didn't even know I had a MySpace account anymore, Galita. I'm so sorry. I go, look, go in, figure out how to get rid of your MySpace account. That's the first thing that came up on Google. Let's get something a little bit more professional in that first spot. It takes time to build that Google panel for you, those searches, but it's possible. Go out and write articles, have a blog, have a YouTube channel. You've got to have something there so people know who you are. Seven years ago, there was information about me because of my commercial real estate company, but not much about my speaking. You bet you I went out and started speaking everywhere just to get that on there. Do press releases, but you've got to have something that they find on you. And you want to have a one sheet. If you don't know what that is, look it up on Google. A one sheet is just one sheet of paper that has what your speaking topics are, your bio, who you are, your photo, how to get a hold of you. Really important to have that. So that's number two. You've got to have your professional speaker package. Let's go to number three. LinkedIn. If you are not on LinkedIn, get on LinkedIn. That's where people with money are the corporations, the conferences, the conventions. You want to be on LinkedIn. You want to start building your LinkedIn profile. You want to be posting that you're the expert. You want to make sure that your bio, your videos, all of this has to do with your area of expertise. And don't forget to put professional speaker up there. You want to ask people to write you testimonials. There's a link there where you could actually send somebody, where I could send Haley a message right now that says, hey, Haley, would you please write a review for me about how I spoke at your event? And she'll be, yeah, sure, Galee, and she'll do it for me. You want to make sure that people are writing things about how wonderful you are. This is the time to brag, okay? You've got to brag because I am putting myself up for a job against other people every time I try to speak somewhere. And so are you, especially when it's paid. And I've also seen it on promotional. I've seen it on promotional where I will be up against 50 or 100 women because they have an opportunity to speak in front of their ideal client and they don't want to lose that opportunity, so they apply. So I'm always up for a job, okay? So what are you going to do on LinkedIn? You're going to go up to the search engine and you're going to search conferences based on the keywords of your expertise. So I'm going to use women's conferences today. It's easy. So I'll go up to the LinkedIn search button and I'll write women's conferences, Las Vegas, women's conferences, Los Angeles, just women's conferences. Now, what it's going to do is going to search through people on LinkedIn that are your, are your contacts and not your contacts that have the word women's conference in their bio. People that put on conferences have that in their bio. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to connect with these organizations. And please don't sell yourself right away. What you want to do is you want to, hi, Jill. I wanted to connect with like-minded women on LinkedIn. I hope you'll accept my connection. She says, sure. 
So nice to connect with you, Jill. And that's it. Then you go in, you start liking her posts. You start commenting on her posts. She starts seeing your name. It becomes familiar. Something like 27 or 28 times that someone has to see your brand before they recognize it or possibly even work with you. I've had people reach out to me three and five years later after seeing my brand to work with me. So you want to make sure that you're doing that. The next thing that you want to do is you want to then reach out and ask for a virtual coffee. That's what I call it, to get to know them. Now, you're still not pushing that you want to be part of their conference. You're just asking to meet them. If you don't have the time to do that, the next thing that I would do is say, hi, Jill, I noticed in your bio that you're part of the ABC Women's Conference. Is there a link that I could do, go to to possibly be, be looked at as a potential speaker? See, I'm not selling myself. I'm asking for the information from the person that's part of it. I did it very politely. She might never respond or she might respond and said, yeah, sure. Here's the website. There's a link on there. Good luck. Leave it alone. Go to the link. Apply as a speaker. Then a few weeks later, you might say, hey, Jill, I was just wondering if you were involved in picking the speakers. I happened to apply and I didn't hear anything. She might say, you know what, Galit, I'm not. Or let me look into it. This is what I want you guys doing. LinkedIn is huge to find speaking gigs. Okay. Let's go. Number four, you've got to be visible. If you're not seen, you're not heard, people won't know who you are and people won't hire you. It's that simple. They just won't hire you. I always tell our ladies in our group, if you're not visible, how are they going to know what you do, who you are, what you sell, your services, your products? So these are the ways that you can be visible. Each time you speak, post about it. I take people on a journey. When I went to Canada, it was freezing. It was like 20 degrees. It's freezing for us on the West Coast, okay? Just so you know, it's freezing for us over on the West Coast. So I posted about my flights. I posted about getting there and it was snowing. I posted about our plane getting de-iced. I've never experienced that. I posted about how the snowstorm stopped us from driving the 90 minutes we needed to, where I was speaking the next day, but no biggie. They're going to come pick me up in the morning. I posted videos. I posted photos. I posted videos from the event because it was a women's conference. I posted other speakers that were at the conference. I posted a before about being nervous. I posted an after. Yes, it's a lot of posting, but that's what people love. They love the story. And I did it across all of my social media. I use the same videos on all of them. I use the same posts on all of them because different people are following me. What better way to get a speaking gig than to someone to see you're speaking somewhere? If there's a graphic or info that you receive, like I got a graphic that said I was a keynote, plaster it everywhere. I'm so excited to be a keynote at, first of all, it makes the place you're speaking very happy because you're promoting them. If it's a conference, if it's a private organization, you don't want to be promoting their event because they might, they're not looking for people to attend, right? But you want to take this graphic. If they don't create a graphic, create one for you. Put it everywhere. I probably promoted this thing for four months, five months before I actually went to speak. Use that graphic on your website. If you go to my website, it says past speaking events. All of my graphics are on that landing page showing all the places I've spoken over the last so many years. Mine goes back quite a few years. The next thing that you want to do is you want to check in when you get to the speaking gig at the location that you're speaking. I do this even for leadership events. I spoke at an event a few weeks ago that had seven leaders from their company that they hired me for. And I said, I'm at the Venetian going up to the room where they have a conference room. You want to check in. The next thing that you want to do is you want to try to share lives. Sometimes I'll jump on and be like, I'm getting ready to speak at the Hey Girl conference. And I'm so excited, especially if there's a step and repeat, which is one of those banners behind you that says where you're at. Take photos of yourself before and after. Ask people in the audience to take photos of you. If you know somebody in the audience, use those afterwards. You want that, oh my God, she really was on a stage. She didn't just make this up kind of feeling. And make sure to post as many pictures and short videos from the speaking engagement. So I spoke at this leadership event and I did, I had my assistant come and she did one minute videos. 
And she tried her best to make sense out of them, but I'll post these one a minute videos and I'll share them so people can see, oh gosh, she's a speaker. People are watching all the time. That's number four. So we went through, let people know you are a professional speaker. Put together a professional speaker package. Use LinkedIn to find your speaking gigs. Be visible and tell everybody that you're speaking. And the last thing is Google, Google, Google. Go online, set up Google Alerts. Very easy. If you don't know how to do it, Google how to set up Google Alerts, okay? You want to set up Google Alerts that say speaking gigs, speaking opportunities in Los Angeles. I'm on the West Coast. Speaking opportunities in Los Angeles, speaking opportunities in California, women's conferences. And what will happen is you'll get an email. It's not that bad. An email once a day, you can do once a day, once a week, that actually gives you links to those things. So you can check them out. Go to the website, explore, see if they're looking for speakers, apply. Really important to do that. Also, you can Google and research speaking conferences in your city. If you have a convention center in your city, or maybe a, a you're in a suburb and you have a city that's close to you. Let's say you live next to Chicago. You might look in Chicago because they probably have a convention center. Look up the list of conventions and conferences that are in the city near you because it's always easy when you don't have to fly. And then you can do that for every city. Really important to be tapped in to the places that are asking for speakers. Go to their websites, send an email. Hi, I noticed you have a conference coming to my city, Chicago. Do you, are you looking for any speakers? Put together a spreadsheet, put all the speaking events on there. Keep track of which ones and when they come up. People book speakers typically three, six, nine, 12 months in advance for the bigger things. For the smaller stuff, I had a speaking opportunity a few weeks ago that he booked me two weeks in advance because it was a little thing. I have another speaking opportunity, April 5th, where they booked me less than two months in advance. So you just never, never know. So ladies, what I want to share with you more than anything is this. Let's get more women on the stage, promotional speaking or paid speaking. But how great would it be to be paid to speak? And for those of you that are nervous, well, who would want to listen to me? Well, I've never done that. If you've done a Facebook Live, if you've gotten up at a nonprofit organization that you're a part of or a business organization that you're a part of and you spoke, you're a speaker. The difference between paid speakers and someone that's actually not doing it is that confidence. So the last thing that I want to share with you guys, and Haley said it was okay, I have a speaker program that's starting next month to show people how to become paid speakers and takes you through all the steps and you can learn more at thespeakermethod.com. Thespeakermethod.com. Thank you, awesome. Haley. Yeah. Galit, those tips were pure gold. Thank you so much for sharing that. And, yeah. you know, here's the thing, y'all. If you think you've gotten everything you're going to get, because I hear this all the time from people, regardless of whether you're thinking about speaking or coaching or whatever, Galit just gave you a few little teeny tiny tips that is like this little teeny tiny tip of the iceberg. When you run into somebody who's giving you this much value, um, you know, one of our other speakers, Galit, whoever, you need to go out and go hunt them down and hire them. <laughs> and I love you hunting I'm down, Haley, because we're so, we're so easy to find. They don't even have to hunt us down anymore, right? Exactly, right? <laughs> and that's a whole other conversation. Oh my exactly. Gosh. Make oh, yourself easy to find. Can I, do a, Haley, can I find. do a Haley plug? Sure. Haley runs all of the social media for our TV network, Everyday Woman TV. And her business and her company are doing an unbelievable job. So if you're following Everyday Woman TV on any of our social medias, which we're everywhere, that's all Haley's team. And she's not sending me a check for that plug, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. And you know what? Thank you for the opportunity to serve and to do an incredible job. You really are. We're very, very happy. So I just wanted to say that because, like I said, Haley and I know each other only online and we've developed this beautiful business relationship where it's back and forth, back and forth. I can't even count how many times we've interviewed each other on our shows, how much times we've had each other on our different summits. It's just been really fun. 
Awesome. Thank you so much for your kind words. Y'all, let's give the lead a huge round of applause. Thank you so much for being right. here. Right. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. And I am so excited to be introducing our next speaker. Oh my gosh.